Yo, what is up everybody? Today I'll be showing you guys how to do perfect timer mapping on CapCut. CapCut is 100% free and it's really interesting because it has a graph for timer mapping. So it can make that a whole lot smoother and overall it's a lot better. Also, I know that this app is capable of doing like a lot more. So if you guys want to see any other types of videos on CapCut, make sure you leave a suggestion down in the comment section. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so we're going to open up CapCut. And then you can start up a new project, press that. And then here's where you can import your clips and stuff. For this, I'm going to be showing you guys how to timer map on the clip and on cinematics. But don't worry if you don't edit this game because this is kind of like timer mapping in general. Like what I'm going to show you guys is going to apply to a lot of types of editing, almost any type of like film or any type of footage. But yeah, since we're going to edit uh, this type of clip, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to first split down my clip. So I'm going to split it right here and you can just delete it just like that go to the start now let's just say i wanted to timer map like this shot right here so i'm gonna split it on this shot just like that let's say i wanted to timer map it to that second shot like that then i would split it again and now we're gonna timer map just this middle part so i'm gonna tap on that middle part and we are going to go to speed just like that and instead of going to normal where we're just gonna set it to a random speed we're actually gonna go to curve so you're gonna get all of these presets. This is what some of them look like. So you technically can use the presets, but in my opinion, I just think the custom ones look better because you can just do it yourself. So I'm gonna press custom and then press on edit. And now when I'm usually doing these type of timer maps, I like doing a fast, slow, fast. So for the fast, slow, fast, we're actually gonna get rid of these keyframes right here. So we just have three main ones. And now you gotta be you got to make sure because if you move it a little bit, it actually like speeds it up quite a bit. Like I only moved it, I barely moved it up at all, but that's two times speed and it gets all the way up to 10 times speed. So I'm pretty much just going to do like around 2.5 to 3-ish speed. Same thing with the last keyframe. And then I'm going to do 0.6 speed. Just in case there's any like frame drops in the clip or something, if you're using 60 frame footage, then you can go down to 50%, but just in case there's frame drops, I do 60%. And if you're on console, I suggest doing none less than 60%, otherwise it'll look very choppy. When I'm on console, I usually just do like 70 or like 65-ish. But anyways, this is what the fast so fast looks like. It'll obviously look better when you're actually editing and you have a reason to throw in this timer map. This is kind of showing what it's capable of. And let me show you what would happen if I went to 0.5 speed. It does have like some frame drop in it. So that's why I keep it at 0.6. And that's one type of graph. So that's the fast, slow, fast graph. Now let me show you kind of more of a graph that I would do for this specific clip. So if I were editing this, I would do something like this. I would have it slow. And then I would speed it up on the shot right here, like that. And then I would add another, and then I would put this down to like 0.6. But later in here, I would actually add another beat and put it down to 0.5 or 0.6-ish. So something kind of like this. And then I would actually add another beat like right here and then drag this one up so it speeds up at the end. So this is what it would look like. And then in the whole clip. Yeah, so it looks pretty smooth. All right, now moving on to the next parts of the clip is I'm going to timer wrap it just before like this pickaxe swing right here. So it's going to be like that second bounce like that. And now for this, we're going to go back to the curve. We're going to do a custom graph again and then edit. Just to start out, I'm going to get rid of these two beats right here. We might end up like adding more in the end, but but just having these three is more organized for now. So we're just going to keep that. And then since it's a really small, like little clip, I'm actually not going to speed it up very much. I'm actually going to keep it around one time speed and then just put this down to one point and then put that down to like 0.6. This is what it would look like. And then I'm actually going to time wrap it just up to that shot right there. So I'm going to split it on the shot. So I'm going to split it on the shot. So we have this timer map, we have that timer mapped, and then we just have this little middle part, and then we have the actual win right there. We're going to tap on this, go to speed, curve, custom, edit, delete, delete, and I'm going to speed it up again. Not any more than three times speed, but not any less than like around two times speed. And then lastly, you got the win, 
So I'm going to split it on the win right here. And then I'm just going to split it right there should be good. And then we can just delete the rest. And because there's a slow-mo there, you really don't have to do much timer mapping for it. All right, now for the now for the cinematic. So you're going to split the cinematic where you want it to start. I'm going to have mine start right there, and I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to split it where I want it to end. So I want it to end right there, and then we delete the rest. So we got this whole thing right here, and we're going to go to speed, curve, custom, edit. All right, so we're going to delete these two beats to start. And I'm actually, it really depends on your cinematic, but since my cinematic is actually pretty long, I am going to speed it up quite a bit. I'm actually going to do it around five times speed. And it really depends on what your cinematic was like clipped in. My cinematic was clipped in a really high resolution, so it's like only like 30 FPS. So I'm actually not going to go below one times speed. So it doesn't have frame drops in it. In my opinion, CapCut doesn't have the best graph for cinematics. It still looks a little bit linear. I wish you could actually change the graph type. Just kind of has an ease in and ease out. I wish I could actually make this like graph speed up more at the end. But it still is a graph and that's pretty good for mobile. So yeah, we're going to press the check on that. This is what we got. Yeah, so it doesn't look bad at all. Alright, I next want to show you guys how to timer map creative clips. For this, I'm really just going to focus on the ending of the clip for timer mapping. So this is definitely going to help out a lot of you guys who do like highlight editing or just like more clean editing overall. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I would timer map just the ending. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it as soon as I pull out the shotgun or kind of midway like that. And we're going to split it. And we're going to split it a little ways in as well. So we're actually not going to split it at the shot. We're going to split it so the shot is kind of in the middle. So now what we're going to do is we're going to tap on that and we're going to go to speed, curve, custom, edit. And now it brings us here. And for this first one, we're actually going to bring it down to about 0.6 speed. And then this one, we're going to drag up a little bit. And then this one, we're going to drag up a little bit more. And then the fourth one, we're going to drag down and down. And I'm just going to put this fourth one over a little bit so we can have that speed up last a little bit longer. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, so it actually looks pretty clean. And then what I'm going to do after it is I'm just going to go to the clip after it if we need more time. And we can actually just go normal and put it at like 0.6 or 0.5, whatever you, whatever you feel like. And now what I feel like I could do with this is I feel like the slow-mo could be a little bit longer. So I'm going to go to uh, speed, curve, and we're going to go back in here and we're just going to move these over a little bit. I think this is going to look a lot better. This is what it looks like. Alright, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys learned anything or enjoyed it at all, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Also comment below what other videos I should do. What are the tutorials or what are the challenges you guys want to see me do? But yeah, with that being said, I'm out. Peace.